Hello, people. No, it's not episode 10 yet. It's only episode 8. Welcome to another episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? <laughs> you gotta tune in to find out. Well, people, it is the eighth episode, and for this episode, I'm going to wear the glasses for a minute or two. Maybe less. We'll see. But anyway, I watched three movies again, as you know. This video's coming out a little later, a couple hours later. I'm sorry. Just, you know, ran out of time, got busy in between times, all that other stuff. But uh, I was going to, I almost waited to drop it tomorrow. I was going to actually record it tomorrow morning, but then I was like, you know what? Let's get it out tonight for you guys. So, that being said, I watched three movies today. Out of the three, I'll say this. Two of them are anthologies. Um, One of the anthologies was real fun. I'm not going to say it was necessarily like good movies and great stories. They were fun. I will go back and rewatch them. The other anthology, which was the third movie I watched, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Something I'll probably end up doing a podcast on. And the movie in the middle... It was okay at best. And so, with that being said, like, I'll go back to the first one. Um, As I said, I had fun with the anthology. It was real fun. There was quite a few Easter eggs in it, which I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to tell you right now what the movie's called. Scare Package. You can see right here. Sorry, right here. Scare Package. Oh, here. And I don't remember how many movies I had and like how many little stories I had. And I honestly forgot because when I'm doing these, I, do, I don't do them to like break them down for a movie review. Like I do for the podcast. I do this just for more entertainment, which I love doing it. And it's just to kind of, you know, it's in the background while I'm working. I'm kind of listening, kind of glancing and watching when I can listening as I'm doing my work. And that's what these movies are for. If it's something that really, really piques my interest, I'll go back for the podcast and watch them. And so far, there's one movie on this list that I said I would definitely do that for. This one is a maybe, though. This one's a close maybe, which might even bump up to a yes by the end of this. But yeah, so Scare Package, again, fun film. It's not like the greatest. Um... Okay, right. It says right on the cover. Seven directors, seven tales of terror, zero working cell phones. That's fun. I had a good time with it. Again, it was fun. That's all I'm going to say about that. The next movie was called, um, give me one second. The Bone Box. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Aaron, you pervert. You were on Pornhub watching The Bone Box. No, I wasn't. I promise this movie's on Amazon Prime. It's called The Bone Box, and it's not the kind of boning you thought would be happening with a title like that, or that you were maybe even hoping where it's happening. Not at all. No boobs, no boning. This movie was okay at best. Um I may revisit it though again just to give it some more attention, but it was like okay at best. It was just I don't know. It was one of those things I think you really have to like watch to follow and really, really give it some, really give it your attention to really feel if you like this movie or not. Maybe, maybe not with this one. I don't know. It was like one of those ones in the middle, kind of another borderline one. But uh, this is one of those movies I'll say, uh, I know I feel like I should revisit it, but if somebody wants to do a podcast on it with me or wants to have me in one of my co-hosts or a random guest to a podcast, that's how it's going to be, you know, that's how that'll be done. So let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me do a podcast with me and a co-host or whatever the case may be. Um, 
Yes. So, yeah, you guys can see the cover, and that's the bone box, and you can see why it's called the bone box. But uh, what can I say? <laughs> like I said, it was an okay movie at best, but, again, maybe it's something I have to rewatch. And then there's a movie with this cover over here. I keep forgetting. With this cover right here, XX, with, like, the kiss lip skull. This anthology was really cool, actually. This is something I'm definitely going to revisit. This is something that I'm definitely going to do a podcast on. Um, what's cool about it is it, it's four stories, four female filmmakers. So it's four different stories. You're getting four different stories from four different female female filmmakers, which I think is awesome. I'm all about diversity when it comes to race and gender and all that awesome stuff. In horror, Not only in horror, just everything across the board in the world, but I'm staying with horror because that's what we're discussing is horror. And uh, yeah, this one was definitely out of the three. This one was hands down the best all around out of all three. I would definitely rewatch this. I would definitely do a podcast on this. I actually definitely want to do a podcast on this. So here's an open invitation for any movie that I say that about with this. What the fuck the search that you just watch. It's an open invitation to you guys to hit me up, email me, leave a comment down below, but email me. And say, hey, I would love to review this movie with you or this movie. Or I'd love for you and your team to review this movie. Either or. I want to come on and review this with you guys or I would love to see you guys review this. Your choice. But yeah, this one was definitely the best one out of all three. And uh, it's definitely worth a watch. It's definitely worth a watch. At least a, all three of them are worth a one-time watch. But this is one that's worth like you actually sit down and pay attention to it, which I want to next time. I'm going to next time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much like I'm like I said, I'm not gonna I don't want to review these movies. I don't want to make this a review thing. That's what the show is for, the podcast is for. This segment show, whatever you want to call it, is more so to tell you what the fuck I watched and tell you what's my favorite fucking cover, pretty much. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Give you guys a little like eight to ten, eight to fifteen minute thingy, whatever. Sometimes I have more to say than others. But again, yes, this was this was the best movie out of all of them. And I'll go back. And uh, do my uh, review of the covers really quick. I just did a podcast with my co-host, James. We did the movie Don't Be Afraid of the Dark from 1973. And that episode, I'm not sure when it'll be out. Probably sometime in October, maybe November. I'm not sure because I still have a shit ton to get out. But be on the lookout for it. And we're eventually going to do the remake after we finish this list. <laughs> so we have like 24 movies left or 21 movies left. 20 something movies left. Just had to throw that out there. And we may be recording Thursday, Friday. Hopefully. Thursday and Friday. But back to um, this. So, best movie cover, in my opinion, is going to be popping up right about now. And if you can see it, guess what it is? You don't got to guess? It's Scare Package. And the reason why, I mean, first of all, this cover, what is there not to like about it? It's fucking amazing. It's beautiful. It's another one that's damn near, like, it's like perfect. This would be so cool on a fucking shirt. It would be amazing on a shirt. You got the VHS tapes. You got like the old school movie theater look, or sorry, movie, not movie theater, like a blockbuster type. What the hell do you call those things? Video store? I don't know. Where you rent movies? I forgot. Screen gems like that. You know what I mean? That. You have that vibe from it. You have the severed hand. It's pulling. It's, you don't know if it actually is it pulling the movie out or is it putting the movie back? Ah, hmm. Think about it. Think about it. Get one more look. Think about it. Think about it. But yeah, I love this cover. I think it's hands down the best cover. It's actually one of the, my favorite covers overall. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite cover because I don't remember all the covers. It's definitely one of one of my favorite covers overall. And like I said in the previous video, I may do a top ten of the covers, all the covers that we made number one from here on out to the end of the year. I may do a top ten of my favorite covers. And once this is all said and done at the end of the year, maybe you guys should do the same thing. And it'll be dropping. Uh, maybe I'll drop it. You know, say January first or January second or something like that. I'll drop it in the beginning of the year or. We'll see. We'll see. Depends on when the last day I do this is. And then I'll do, I don't know. I'm, I'm speaking too much. Thinking way too far ahead. But uh, yeah, this movie, hands down, 
best fucking cover. Hands fucking down. Best cover of the day for me. Cover number two is Bone. The Bone Box. It's a really cool cover, and it looks like he's getting dragged down into this box. And it's a cool cover. It's a really cool cover. This cover was way better than the movie. And it was just, again, it's a movie I may have to go back, which this will be one if you guys request a podcast, I'll go back and actually watch it and revisit it and pay more attention to it. But, I mean, if you look at the cover, like I said, it, it's a cool cover. It's a really fun fucking cover. Really fun cover. It just, I wish the movie lived up, to, lived up to the cover. I could say that about Scary Package, too. I wish the movie lived up to the cover, but that cover was just so amazing, and I enjoyed the movie more. But yeah, there's that. And I don't really have much more to say about this cover. The cool cover. The bone box. Last but not least, you have the XX. This cover was kind of... It was okay. I think it's a, I think it's a really cool concept. And I get it. Maybe the lipstick kiss with the skull and all that feminine stuff. But I feel like it could have been better. It could've, they could have did something feminine if that's the take on it. That's just me as a man speaking. I don't know. So don't take any offense to that ladies i'm just saying me as a man i have no idea but that's what i get from that but i just feel it could have been better i feel like i feel like they could have done something cool a lot cooler maybe even like a pink skeleton i don't know maybe like a woman's face like or you know like just kind of looking scary like half her face half skeleton maybe maybe the four women that the film creators the the uh female filmmakers you had their faces on here not like one two three four maybe like half their face half something scary from their movie something but overall best movie just the cover was it was okay it wasn't bad it's okay um that's pretty much all i gotta say about it honestly so i'll jump into this real quick thank you guys for watching please keep supporting Hit that like button down there. Hit that share button down there. Hit that notification button. And hit that subscribe button. And the notification button, you know, you might want to just hit it to the personalized once you get every single time I drop content, you guys will know. You'll get that vibration on your phone or that ring on your phone or that email or whatever. Whatever it does, you'll get it. So do that. Also, feel free to join my Horror Resource 30 Facebook group. And in that group, you can share anything and everything horror-related. I have a Horror Resource 30 Facebook page. That's where all my podcast content will be dropped. That's where all these type of videos will be dropped. These type of videos will be in the group and on the page, but it'll be easier to find on the page because it's just me posting on the page. So I started posting on the page. So you'll be able to find all my videos on the page. Um, So give the page a like. Give the group a join. What else is there? YouTube, of course. Like I said, subscribe, notification, like, share. Do that with everything across the board with my stuff. The Facebook group, the Facebook page, share them around. Share them with your friends, share them with your family, share them with your enemies, share them with your coworkers. Give you something to listen to or watch while you're working from home, if you're working from home. Or you could listen to it in your audio if you're going back and forth to work. Listen to it in your car. Maybe not this, but other stuff. Then there is Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. And like I previously said the other day, I have to get one more piece and then I will be all set with the whole have you guys will be able to see me like you can see me now, gaming, laughing, sipping, talking shit. And yeah, that'll be fun and it'll be funny. Move on over to my email. Horror with Sir Dot Sturdy. Again, that's Horror with Sir Dot Sturdy. One last time for the people in the back. Horror with Sir Dot Sturdy at gmail.com. And there you can reach me, shoot me an email if you want to come on the podcast. Anything like that, come on here, review a movie with me, my co hosts. Um, shoot the shit about some horror stuff. If you're a director and all that stuff, a producer, you want to, you know, you want to, excuse me, discuss your work. Promote your work. Come on the podcast. Talk some horror. We'll talk your horror project. We'll go from there. And again, 
horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. Got to get my water. I'm getting thirsty. I believe that's all I got. I believe that is all I have. Oh, one last thing. My audio all across the board, Horror with Surf Sturdy, iTunes, Google Play, all them things, Spotify, Podbean, which I know I'm a little behind, like an episode or two behind on the audio. Sometime this weekend, I will catch all that up for you guys and make sure everything's all set to go. And what I'm going to start doing with the audio is I'm going to keep dropping the audio at midnight. But again, like I said, I'm, I'm going to, again, fix it up so it drops every Tuesdays and Thursdays at midnight. And all the videos will drop Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Midnight Eastern time for the audio. 9 p.m. Eastern time for the video. Again, thank you guys all for your support. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. One last time. Share. Share. Subscribe, like, notification button. And as always, I'll see you in your nightmares. Put the shades back on because I'm a cool ass motherfucker. Drink some bitches. <laughs>